The word vintage is synonymous with the terms old school, retro, old fashioned, and antique. But perhaps one of the best things about old vintage stuff is getting the opportunity to see things you were once too young to properly enjoy. Join Facts First as we take a walk down memory lane while taking a look at some photos we were probably a bit too young to understand and fully appreciate when they first made the rounds. Some of these candid photos are pretty provocative, but nothing we're about to share constitutes material not safe for work. But it comes close. So get ready to see some steamy, scandalous, and unexpected pictures from yesteryear. Maureen McCormick looking sour on the set of The Brady Bunch, 1972. This vintage photo was taken of Maureen McCormick, who played Marsha Brady on The Brady Bunch, appearing pretty observably upset while donning a miniskirt and sitting cross-legged while on set. It was taken during the filming of an episode of the series called Greg's Triangle, in which Marsha's adopted brother Greg was asked to cast the deciding vote selecting the next head cheerleader. His choices were either his new stepsister or his current girlfriend at the time, Jennifer. At the end of the day, he chose neither of them, instead giving the coveted position to a girl named Pat, portrayed by Rita Wilson. Jennifer subsequently dumped Greg after he submitted his vote, but Marsha praised her brother for his wise decision. The Queen of the Drag Race, date unknown. Long before the days of the Italian job and the Fast and the Furious, drag racing was already a super popular sport in the 70s, and one of the most prevalent features that one would see at the racetrack were the gorgeous women who attended the races in their skin-tight shorts and barely their shirts. One of these drag racing queens was known in the racing community as Jungle Pam Hardy, seeing as she was the sidekick of one of the most celebrated racers in the scene, Jungle Jim Lieberman. Even though she only worked alongside Jim for less than half a decade, she still earned her place in history as the most iconic backup girl in drag racing history. Rockstar is doing what they do, 1972. During its formative years, rock and roll was all about sex, drugs, and pushing the boundaries of what society deemed acceptable. In the 70s, rock stars were practically deified by their fans, and especially so by their devoted legion of groupies. Young women would practically wait in line to get a chance to sleep with their idols, and if you've ever seen Almost Famous, you know precisely what we're talking about. In this photo, we have Keith Richards and Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones and their buddy Bob Dylan kicking it while they celebrated Mick's 29th birthday. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more, and stick around for a lot more great vintage photos. Daisy Duke looking flawless, date unknown. Those last three photos were pretty tame, but feast your eyes on this one. When Jessica Simpson was cast to play Daisy Duke in the Dukes of Hazzard reboot, she clearly had some big shoes to fill. She had to compete with the sex appeal of Katherine Bach, the actress who played Daisy Duke in the original series. Linda Ronstadt left little to the imagination, 1976. Wardrobe malfunctions and full frontal nudity are pretty common these days, but back in the day, a star showing off a healthy dose of their body was pretty controversial. But that didn't stop Linda Ronstadt from wearing a white, nearly transparent nightgown while posing for the cover of her album, Hasten Down the Wind. While the move was a bit of a risk, the album went on to spend three weeks on the Billboard charts. It makes you wonder whether the album was successful because of the music or the spicy album cover. But then again, she did win a Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Performance. So at least the music was part of it. Who Didn't Dream of Jeannie, 1959 The lovely Barbara Eden portrayed a genie, fittingly named Jeannie, on the iconic sitcom I Dream of Jeannie. Seeing as how the show hit the airwaves in the late 50s, her outfits were pretty scandalous for the time. But even though Eden often gave audiences a bit of skin, there were actually fairly strict rules about what she could and could not wear. For one thing, she was required to constantly cover her navel area in a seemingly futile attempt to dial down her sexiness. Dick Cavett couldn't keep his eyes off Raquel Welch, 1972. Playboy magazine declared Raquel Welch to be the most desired women of the 70s. At the time, Dick Cavett was considered to be the thinking man's late-night talk show host, but he had a difficult time keeping his own thoughts straight when he got a chance to interview Welch in 1972. When she sat down with Dick to have a chat, Welch was still a burgeoning star beginning to find her place in the industry. Just a couple of years later, she won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture for her role in The Three Musketeers. Goldie Hawn was pure gold, date unknown. 
Even though she's now in her mid-70s, Goldie Hawn still stands out in a crowd, and she's always been someone who possesses a hard-to-define but unmistakable it factor. Back when this photo was taken, Hawn was just getting her start in Hollywood. She previously worked as a go-go dancer in New York City, which likely explains why she had such a flawless physique. Eventually, after being noticed by Tinseltown talent scouts, she was cast in movie roles thanks to her curvaceous body and signature flowing blonde hair. Batman looking studly, circa 1960s. If you're a Batman fan, then Adam West needs no introduction, considering how he was the first actor to breathe life into the iconic role on the campy Batman TV screen back in the 1960s. But even though West often looked pretty goofy while portraying Batman, in this photo he's seen showing off a very different side of his personality. In truth, he was nothing short of a stud. Step up to the plate with Kathy Ireland, circa 1989. Kathy Ireland was one of the most iconic supermodels of the 80s, and all across the world, teen boys had her posters hanging on their walls. There was no one else quite like her at the time. She even managed to be featured in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition 13 times in a row. In this photo, Kathy is wearing nothing more than a skimpy outfit while playing America's pastime, baseball, and making the sport a lot sexier than it had ever been. Weird Science? More like Sultry Science, 1985. Everyone will tell you the best generation was the one they grew up in, but we're still convinced the 1980s takes the cake. It gave us the Walkman, Rubik's Cubes, Jazzercise, Ghostbusters, and American-British actress Kelly LeBrock. If you've ever seen the movie Weird Science, you already know LeBrock was the perfect choice to play the dream girl in that provocative film. Bridget Bardot still makes us blush, 1956. While filming And God Created Women, Bridget Bardot turned the idyllic seaside town of Saint-Tropez upside down. While she and her husband, director Roger Vadim, made their way through the French waterfront borough, Bardot's sexuality was in full bloom. Her unapologetic sensuality was so intense, many European press outlets issued decrees calling for her to be banned from the continent. Bardot went on to appear in 47 films, record 60 songs, and was photographed by a number of publications, but few photos capture her magic quite like this one. The Free World's First Supermodel, 1978 Although it's debatable who the world's first supermodel was, it's fairly well established that America's first supermodel was none other than Cheryl Teagues. In this photo from Sports Illustrated, Teagues is seen kneeling in a yellow swimsuit. She went on to appear in a number of different issues of the popular sports magazine's swimsuit edition and likewise graced the bedroom walls of practically every boy in the country in the late 70s and early 80s. Susan Sarandon sits on a ledge, 1988. Back in the day, Susan Sarandon was considered one of the most beautiful women in the world. It's easy to see why looking at this seductive photo. Sarandon had no problem turning heads wherever she went, and whenever she showed up to the red carpet, she stole the spotlight from practically everyone. This specific photo was taken of Sarandon during the filming of Bull Durham, and if you'd like to get an autographed copy for your private collection, you can get one on eBay for the small price of $134. Poolside Natalie Wood, circa 1950s. Here's one last photo to send you off. Natalie Wood was an incredible actress who managed to earn three Oscar nods by the time she was 25. She was famous not only for her acting chops, but also for how beautiful she was. But sadly, her fame only increased after her tragic death in 1981 when she drowned under extremely suspicious circumstances while a passenger on actor Robert Wagner's boat. While Wagner has been named a person of interest in her death, he's repeatedly denied allegations that he had anything to do with her demise. And Wood's death was ultimately declared accidental. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think of all these saucy vintage photos? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.